If 5B is a little bit different than the one we did for 5A, 5A had to do with the profit and revenue and cost, but now for B, uh, it's, it's different. It says, suppose a company purchases a new car for 28,000. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down some information here. New car, $28,000. That's, that's what the first thing says. Okay, after three years, the car is worth $16,000. Okay, so after three years, then the cost has now dropped down to uh, 16000 It says write a linear function that expresses the value V of the car as a function of its age T. Okay, so the V is kind of like your Y value and your T is like an X value. For this kind of problem, when you have some kind of depreciation going on where a new car or a new machine, whatever it is, starts out at one price and then after a certain number of years, it drops again. This is a type of depreciation problem. So this requires a little bit different process in order to solve for it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up two points and then we're gonna use the slope formula to find the slope of that. So let's first go ahead and with this information, if we're gonna let the T represents like the, the X value and the V is, is the uh, Y value, let's set up some points based on this. Now using that, what this is saying is when the car is brand new, zero years have passed. So at zero years, we say that we have 28,000. So input and output. Next, after three years, now it's worth 16,000. So we've created a set of two points on this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the equation of the line that passes through these two points. We do that by first finding the slope, and then we're gonna use y equals mx plus b to get our answer in that form, making sure we have the correct variables using a v and a t like it asks us to. Let's first find the slope. So the slope is gonna be the change in y over the change in x. Now it doesn't matter which way that you subtract these, as long as you subtract it in the same order. For instance, if I wanna do 28,000 minus 16,000, then I don't want to do three minus zero. I want to do this one minus this one and this one minus this one. Make sure we subtract them in the same order. So let's, uh, let's do 28,000 minus 16,000. But then on the bottom, I'm going to do top minus the bottom also, zero minus three. So for this, I need to uh, work this out and that's going to end up giving me the slope of the line that I have uh, for my answer. So when we uh, work this out, and divide, we are dividing by a negative number, and we end up getting, we'll get negative 4,000 uh, as the answer when we work all this out. What this represents is that every single year, the car is losing $4,000 in value. That's what the meaning of that slope is. So now what we wanna do is just go ahead and get our equation in terms of y equals mx plus b. Now, when I have an equation that is y equals mx plus b, the b is always the uh, y-intercept. And that happens when my x is equal to zero. Now, for this particular problem, I actually have one of my points that has a zero in it. So actually, I can go ahead and write my equation based off of this. Now, if you don't want to use that, we can always go back to the point slope formula, and this is how I want to show it, but you might recognize that this is automatically going to be our value for B right away to get uh, part of our answer. But we'll use this point, 0 and 28,000. We're going to do Y minus 28,000. And by the way, you could also use either one of these two points. I could have used the, the second point as well, and that would have gotten me the right answer. But I'm going to use this one because it's easier since I have a 0 on that one. Uh, your M is equal to negative 4,000, and then I'm going to have x minus 0 here for the next part. 0 was the x value. I'm going to simplify this. y minus 28,000 equals negative 4,000, this x only. And then I'm going to add the 28,000, and I get negative 4,000 x, uh, and I get for this one plus 28,000. Now, this, if you put this right here for the answer, you're not gonna get full credit. And the reason why is because you have to pay close attention to the instructions. It says, write a linear function for the value V in terms of T. 
So we want to make sure we put the correct variables on it when we write our answer. So for this, we want to use v of t, that's a function of v in terms of t. That's going to equal negative 4,000 t plus 28,000. Okay, so this right here, this is going to be the answer to uh, 5b. They only want an equation for it. We have to make sure we set it up and use the correct variable. So it's okay to do everything else with x's and y's, but just your final answer, you just want to make sure you put in the correct variables.